Today on the Cool Stuff Guys Like channel, we're gonna show you how to siphon gas without getting a mouthful and without spilling a drop. The only piece of equipment that we need to siphon this gas is a piece of fuel line. And I'm using clear fuel line. This is the stuff that you would use for an old motorcycle or a lawnmower. You can get it at any hardware store or auto parts store. And it helps to be clear because you can see the gas versus kind of working blind otherwise. So we'll go ahead and we'll take the cap off. And I've already placed our gas can below the level of the fuel tank. That's really important. It has to be lower than the level of the fuel tank because you're using gravity to move gas from one place to another. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna stick our fuel line, which is about, I'd say about four and a half feet. We're gonna stick it into the fuel tank and I'm gonna suck gas up with my mouth, but I'm gonna make sure that the hose is, in this case, above the level of the fuel tank because I don't want gravity to spray that into my face, basically. So when it gets pretty close to the end, just stick your thumb over it. You can see here, um, I'm within about eight inches of the end. So as long as I can get this end of the liquid below this level of the tank, we know it's gonna flow. So we're gonna go down and we're gonna stick this into our gas can and I'll take my thumb off. And there it goes. So we'll let it flow. And when you get to the point where you say, you know, you think you've got enough gas, no need to stick your thumb over the end or anything. Just lift the gas line out of the gas tank. Super easy. Of course, you always want to do this outside because gas vapors are very, very flammable. Um, and in the event that you did mess something up and you spilled or something, you're not in a, a confined space. If you're pulling out of something like a car too, something to keep in mind is it might have a check valve on the inlet. So you might not be able to get a line in like this. I hope this video is helpful for you. And if you like how-to or automotive videos like this, make sure to click subscribe below. Thanks for watching.